Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build this cool little cardboard electric car. Let's take a closer look. This battery pack has a built-in switch, so to turn it on, all you have to do is push this bar down. The small gear that's attached to the motor is called the pinion gear, and the larger gear that's attached to the axle is called the spur gear. You'll want your pinion gear to be a little bit smaller than the spur gear. Since the spur gear is larger, it's going to stick through the bottom of your chassis. These are the materials you'll need to build your electric car. You're going to need some cardboard of various sizes, a large popsicle stick and two small popsicle sticks, four plastic toy car tires, two coffee straws, two metal axles that are 10 centimeters long and two millimeters wide, a small electric motor, a spur gear, and a pinion gear, or an assortment of gears so you can mix and match the uh, gear ratio as you want, a mat knife to cut the cardboard, a hot glue gun with some extra glue sticks, a soldering gun with some solder, a wire cutter, and you may need some extra wiring. We're going to begin the project by making the chassis of the car. We'll need to cut a rectangular piece of cardboard and slot it so that there's room for the spur gear. It's important to remember that our axles are 10 centimeters long. So we'll need to make our chassis a little bit narrower than that to allow the, uh, the plastic tires to fit on without rubbing the cardboard. You'll want your metal axles to extend almost a centimeter beyond the cardboard like this. Now I don't want my chassis or my car to be quite this long, so I'm going to trim it down just a little bit on one end. That's about how I'm going to want it. All right, next, we need to attach our axles to the car, but our axles are going to need to spin freely, so we can't just glue the metal axle onto the cardboard. We're going to need to place our axles inside these straw housings so that they spin freely, which means we'll need to trim down these straws just a bit. When cutting your coffee straws, you'll want them to be just slightly wider than the cardboard chassis. We need to cut a small rectangular hole through the back part of the chassis. This is going to allow the spur gear to fit through. And we want that rectangle to be a little off center, not right in the middle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right about here. and then we'll remove the rectangle.
Okay, now it's time to attach the axles and the wheels. So let's start with the front. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the hot glue gun to glue the coffee straw nice and straight to the front of the chassis. Insert the metal axle into the straw. That will help keep things straight while the glue is cooling. Now the rear axle is going to have the spur gear attached to it. In order to attach the spur gear to the axle, you're going to press it onto the axle. It's going to go tight because it's just held on with friction, no glue. And when you slide that spur gear on, you want to make sure that it's aligned with the hole. Looks like I went a little too far. Almost. That looks pretty good. All right, so now I need to take my straw and I need to trim it down so that there's a piece for the right side of the axle and the left side. Then I'm going to squeeze a bead of glue on both sides of the chassis. And before I put my straws down onto the chassis, I need to slip them onto the axle. Next, I'm going to drop them into the glue like that. So next I'm going to begin assembling the motor and attaching it to my chassis. First I'm going to need to find a pinion gear. This one looks like it will work well and I'm going to press it on to the motor shaft. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get on. If that's the case, set it like this on your, your workbench and then tap it lightly with a hammer and it'll pop it into place. If your pinion gear spins loosely on the axle shaft, you'll need to try a different one. It needs to be tight. All right, next, we need to find a way to mount this motor so that this pinion gear meshes nicely with the spur gear. I'm going to use a large popsicle stick to reinforce the cardboard chassis. You see, if you just glue this motor onto the cardboard, it's a bit too weak and it tends to tear off. Next, I'm going to place a bead of glue on my wood motor mount, right about where the motor is going to fit on. And then I'm going to stick my motor on so that the gears 
are meshed together. Next, we're going to press our plastic wheels onto the axles. If you have a hammer, you could just kind of tap them in, or you could press them in by hand. The hammer makes it a little bit easier. Alright, when the wheels are attached, they should spin freely in the front, and there should be a little bit of resistance in the rear, just because it's attached to the uh, pinion gear and the motor. You'll want to make sure that if your, spur gear, if your spur gear slides back and forth a little bit, that it doesn't slide off the pinion gear. This one looks okay. Now it's time to connect the battery pack. Let's experiment a little bit and find out which way the motor is going to propel the car. This battery pack has a built-in switch that allows it to turn on and off simply by sliding this bar down. So I'm going to keep it up in the off position for a moment. I'm just going to bend these wire ends a little bit and I'm going to attach them. onto the motor terminals like that. And then I'm gonna prop up the rear end of the car. And then I'm gonna turn it on to see which, t which way those tires are going to turn. All right, so the way it's set up now, it's gonna move the car in that direction. That's how I want it. I want my car to be rear wheel drive with the engine in the rear. I don't want it to go that way. If I did, I would just have a front wheel drive car but that's not what I want for this example. So I'm going to need to solder the red wire onto this terminal and the black wire onto this terminal. And then I'm going to give it another test. Looks good. To finish up with this step, I'm just going to put a blob of hot glue here on the base of the battery pack and attach it to the motor mount. Now you could also use some Velcro or double-sided tape, but um, the hot glue works okay, and you can, you can peel it off later with a little bit of effort. The body of your car could be designed to your liking. To build this one, I simply cut out some cardboard strips to serve as the sides of the car and the front. I added some yellow tape, and I drew in a grill. I added some popsicle stick bumpers a little cardboard spoiler, and then I made a removable hood by gluing some of these little shims into place. Here's how it works. You'll want to make sure that your electronics are accessible. 
so that you could turn the car on and off and replace the battery as is needed or make some minor repairs if things begin to fall apart after use. Yep, so there it is. That is how to build an electric car. You know, be creative with this part. You don't have to design it just like mine. Um, you can make it any which way you want. There you go. All right, please take the time to like this video and subscribe to the channel.